Are you single and just recently joined the church? Or maybe you're shy when you're around others? Or maybe you've had bad dating experience in the past and you are longing for love and companionship but aren't sure how to get it in the Mormon dating scene? Well, you're in luck because today that is what we are going to talk about. To be successful in Mormon dating, you have to do two things, and that is to increase your perceived social and spiritual status. The main word here is perceived because actual self-improvement can take either months or years of hard work and self-reflection, and we don't got time for that. We will begin with social status. Social status is easy to fake, especially if you are still in college. All you need to do is switch to an impressive sounding major. Don't worry, you don't actually have to graduate in this major. Just switch long enough until you fool someone into falling in love with you. If you are a guy, I would stay away from art, music, or philosophy. Your best bet is to go pre-med. Mormon girls love the idea that they are going to marry Dr. McDreamy one day. If you are a Mormon girl, I suggest you choose either education or something like family studies. Because Mormon men are often confused and intimidated by strong independent women for some reason. One of the quickest ways to increase your perceived social and spiritual status is social media. All you need to do is buy the newest iPhone and start posting. And remember to post when you go to church on Sundays or visit the temple. Remember to use hashtags like hashtag bless and hashtag tender mercies. Follow these steps and your social media and spiritual life will be hashtag lit. Other quick and easy ways to increase your perceived spirituality is to regularly quote scripture in your daily life. Quote scripture around your friends and family, at your job, and at church whenever you answer a question. Bonus points if you can quote scripture during an argument with another person, or to guilt them into doing something for you. My last piece of advice is for return missionaries, and that is to never stop talking about your mission, especially if it's been more than a year since you've been back. For example, when you're at a restaurant with friends, remember to complain how the food isn't as authentic as your mission. Also remind those in your hometown that they aren't as faithful as the members and converts from your mission. And lastly, remember to state your strong desire to be a missionary again, mainly due to you not being able to adjust to society again. And those are my tips on how to date a Mormon. If all else fails, you can always move to Provo. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe to keep watching my videos. Talk to you later.